Welcome to Chat Pion. Today in this video, we will see how to create an e-commerce store inside Facebook Messenger by using Chat Pion. First, we will create an e-commerce store and then set it up on the Messenger bot. So, let's dive into the process of creating an e-commerce store. From the dashboard of Chat Pion, click on the e-commerce store from the left navigation menu. Then click on Create Store button. First, select the Facebook page for which you want to create e-commerce store, and then give a store name. Then we need to put an email address. We can also use a phone number, but it's not mandatory. Select the country from the drop-down list. And then, put the state and city. We must fill up all the mandatory fields. We can change the locale of the store if we need to. Now, let's upload a logo and favicon for the store. We can also use Facebook Pixel ID and Google Analytics ID if we want to. We also have an option for online or offline. Keep it online. Then click on Terms of Services and write the terms and conditions if you have any, you can keep it blank if you want to. Also, there is an option to write the refund policy of your store. Finally, click on the Create Store button. We can edit the store anytime from the store setting. Just click on the store settings to edit it anytime. Now that we have created our e-commerce store, now we will add products and payment gateways. Click on the checkout settings to add payment methods. We have a lot of options for payment methods. Use whichever is suitable for you. For PayPal, we just need to put the PayPal email. For Stripe, we will need the Stripe secret key and Stripe publishable key. For Mali Pay, we just need the API key. We can also add manual payment instructions. Now, we need to enable those payment options from here. Cash on delivery is enabled by default. Then we have currency and formatting. We can change the currency from the drop down list and do the formatting. We can set the currency sign to the right side if we need to. Some currency signs are aligned to the right side, so we can use this for right aligned currency signs. Then we have two decimal parts and commas. Then we have tax and delivery charges. And then, we have delivery preference. We can enable or disable the store pickup and home delivery. We can also set the preparation time, this is very useful for restaurants. Then we have scheduled orders, if we enable this option, customers will be able to schedule an order. We can also enable or disable the guest purchase, we will keep it enabled here. We can also change these options on address preference. Finally, click on save. Then we have appearance settings. We can change the theme color from here. We have options for product grouping and product viewing. We can also change the product sorting order and fonts. We have options to change the text for the buy now and store pickup buttons. Then we have the business hour settings. We can keep it all time open or we can set the time for different days. We can also make a day off by selecting the off day option. 
Now, let's create categories for the store. Click on the Add button then put a name for the category and upload an image for the category. We can create as many categories as we want. Now, let's add some attributes. Give a name for the attribute and add values separated by commas. We can make them multi-select, or optional if we need to. Now let's add products to our stores. Write the product name and put the price. We can also put a selling price for the product. Then we have options for related products, we will need the e-commerce related product add-on to get this option. The good news is, this add-on is free you can just download it from zeronit.net and install it. Select the category, and add attributes, we can add more than one attribute if we need. We can increase or decrease the price for different attribute values. Let's say for the double XL size, the product price will be $5 higher. We can put a product description and purchase note. Upload the thumbnail and featured image. We can use up to three featured images. Put the number for the item in stock. We can display the stock if we want to. Select yes, to prevent purchase if the product is out of stock. We will keep the status online, we can make it offline anytime if we need to. If there is any tax keep it yes, or else keep it disabled. Finally, click on the save button. I will add more products to our store. We can view our store by clicking on the Visit Store. We can also add a delivery point if we have any. Put the delivery point name and details. Then we have QR code. Customers can scan the QR code to enter the store inside or outside of the Facebook Messenger. We can also create coupons if we need. Just select the products for which the coupon will be used and then select the coupon type and write the coupon code and coupon amount. For percentage, put the number of percentages. For other types of coupons we need to put the total amount for the coupon. Select an expiry date, and write the maximum usage limit. We can see the list of signed up customers from here. Then we have orders, we can manage orders from here. Then we have copy URL options. We can copy our store URLs from here. We will need store URL while adding this e-commerce store inside Facebook Messenger. We can also use this store as a widget with this iframe code. Then we have order status and notification, we don't need to do anything here. Default messages are already set up here, we can change texts if we want to. Then we have confirmation and reminders. 
Here we have a checkout message that the customer will get after purchasing. If any customer adds products to their cart and doesn't complete the purchase, we can send them up to three reminder messages. Select the time from the drop-down list. We can check our reminder reports from here. Now that we have built our store, we will see how to use this store inside Facebook Messenger. We can use this store anywhere in the bot. Let's see how to do that. From the left navigation menu, go to the Visual Flow Builder. Click on Create New Flow. Select the Facebook page. Give a title for the bot. Add a trigger and an action button, connect them with the Start Bot Flow. Add keywords on the trigger and select the action button type. Let's take a generic template and connect it. Double click on the generic template and configure it. We can add an image, title, and subtitle to the generic template. Now, we will add our e-commerce store with this button. Write a button text. Select the button type as WebView Full and put the URL of the e-commerce store. Let's save the bot. Let's check if it's working or not. Users can add products to the cart and proceed to checkouts. From the orders, we can change the status of the order to approve, reject, or shipped. We can write a note to the user, when changing the status of an order. As soon as we change the status, customers will get a notification to their messenger. So, this is how we can create an e-commerce store inside Facebook Messenger, by using ChatPion. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the video.